Hey, how's it going? I haven't done one of these in a while, and this is the first comedy show where I'm under the moniker of Luke Does Stuff, not using my actual real life, real name. Um, because, calling myself my actual name is stupid. Who am I? Marcus Butler, you know. Um, we got some comments. We've had a lot of comments since the last one. I'm not going to. I'm not going to, you know, read and make jokes about all of them because, you know, all of them, most of them are just one word like, hi, what socks do you wear, can I have your babies, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just going to joke about the ones and, you know, talk about the ones which I can actually joke about and which will, you know, be entertaining to you guys. So, without further ado, let's start reading the comments. First comment we have is from a guy called Wolf. You'll be seeing a lot of comments from him. He's a, he's a close friend at this point, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, he's, he's basically saying, I'm gonna crank up again. Don't know why I did it in a semi-Scottish accent, a shit Scottish accent. But, <laughs> this was on the Not Quite Hot Ones Hot Wing Challenge video. Uh, quite proud of that video. I did it outside. Um, and that's probably the most painful video I've done. Uh, that, that bag of hot wings actually had um like 18 wings in it who the fuck buys 18 hot uh, like carolina reaper drenched hot wings me apparently but who's gonna do that and gonna think oh that'll be a nice dinner for the kids you know that uh, the whole the whole um the whole um advert for Isons is that's why mum shop at Isons burning your fucking kids mouths out is is why mum shop at Isons you know next comment is by cobra who um says shit dude i got to step up my collection yeah i know those um those action figures that I talked about in that video uh... Ooh, boy howdy if you haven't seen that video the worst action figures ever made um... i feel like it's a pretty good video it's about when i start uh, when i first had the tripod so i was just playing around with different videos that i could do you know i think that video is pretty funny and how about you guys i think it's pretty funny um... Yeah. Another comment from Cobra, who says, finally some semi-decent lighting. I was outside for the video. You know, I, I didn't actually do anything. When I try to do decent lighting, when I try to make decent content, it's shit. When I try to make shit, it ends up being decent. When I post up a video that I think, this is shit, this is going to be the worst video I ever make, it it gets like upwards to a hundred views you know that ice cream video that i did that's almost that's pretty much at 200 views now why why have 200 people watched me some overweight fucking 16 year old at the time eating ice cream and why in god's name did i record myself eating ice cream these are the questions that we all ask ourselves uh next comment is by wolf your video quality is getting better for some reason also great commentary why thank you uh that's actually a nice comment i can't really i can't really say anything bad about that uh thank you i guess the quality's dropped since then because i'm no longer recording on my phone i'm only recording on here so i can actually edit properly and you know 
because you know SD cards hopefully I can get a new camera soon hopefully fingers crossed you know um, I'm going to be getting a proper job soon so you know hopefully I can you know save up for a decent semi decent camera that's not a knockoff Chinese one um, of Cosmo the artist who says nice nice uh, we then have um, Gucci King Tay who uh, I have no idea who this is let's, let's be honest uh, got a picture of some Asian Asian person a picture of some Asian person on there uh, who put Luke with like several K's several E's um, I just responded with that's my name that is my name uh, we then have um, Caroline Van Sande who put great video Luke thanks again glad to see that people are enjoying the content uh, I have another comment by Wolf Wolfie boy who put I like the whole collection very cool thank you Kanye very cool yeah uh, and keep the almost daily videos uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is yeah uh, this is back like several um, about a month ago back when like it was end of term and we were uh, we had two weeks off college and I was pumping out videos like daily and a lot of people wanted me to keep to that schedule well one person wanted me to keep to that schedule so I couldn't because college you know is a thing but just felt like I needed to address that I couldn't keep up with the the uh, schedule because college also my internet went down for a week that's also a, a thing that happened that was a a problem that happened uh, X Raul but I'm the guy from Omegle a lot of people you're not special a lot of the people who watch my content are from Omegle because that's how I share my videos because reddit hates self-promotion why would you have a why would you have a subreddit called promoting small youtubers where small youtubers can't promote themselves you have to worm your way around by getting someone to promote yourself to promote your stuff on reddit uh, I don't, it, it boggles the mind it honestly does boggle the mind and apparently you need to have like several karma which that's bollocks I'm not not going through that all that you know all that stuff that rigmarole oh next we have a comment from Amelie Wagner Linnaeus 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 I, I don't know how to pronounce that it's obviously not an English name uh, who put I think I'll watch through all the videos with the comment content uh, comic content tomorrow may be helpful for Avengers Endgame just keep the motivation and the good work thank you uh, yeah a lot of people seem to think I'm, I'm motivated <laughs> which to be to be fair I am I, I, I know um, the motivation comes from the the comments, the likes, the the subscriptions. When they go down, you know, it's the same as every YouTuber. When the when the analytics go down, your motivation goes down. Your kind of self worth is all like based around this kind of you know your numbers keeping on rising. That's that's just that's just the name of the game, really. Uh, there's nothing that can there's no youtuber on this platform that doesn't get a little bit of an ego boost 
when they hit a landmark and there's no YouTuber that gets a bit of a knock to their ego when they see their subscriber count like dipping or you know just staying at the same for several for several weeks um but yeah thanks for you know acknowledging that there is some motivation behind this channel because a lot of people see oh it's just some some kid uh, who occasionally eats food and mostly talks about comics and it isn't very interesting and that's how I see this channel I don't honestly understand why some people like it but some people like it so I guess I'll, I'll keep catering to those people you know uh, but yeah I don't again, again with the, the comic book Stuff. I don't think that watching, you know, videos talking about specific uh, comic book specific content is going to help with like catching up for MCU films. The best way to do that is to go in fresh, because it is, you know, it it's not like a direct thing from the comics. The comics like influence the movies. They don't kind of direct the movies and where they go. The movies are completely different, like the whole the the story behind the vulture the story behind thanos the story behind spider-man completely different to the comic books completely different in some ways the movies influence the comics more than the comics influencing the movies a lot of people seem don't seem to get that and most of those people are people that don't read comic books and yeah next comment is by wolf who said, who said at my, um, the weird time Spider-Man went on Ninja Warrior, which I thought was going to be really funny, I thought that was going to be a really good video, turned out it wasn't, I thought this was the video that was going to get me in there, it was going to get me in, going to get me like a, a solid place in the comic book YouTube community, no, <laughs> no, no it didn't, I still haven't got my solid place in the, in the comic book community, uh, John Malin, um, John Malin liked one of my replies. That's about the closest that I've gotten to the um, the comic book community on, here on YouTube. I've got a a like that I've got a, a a comment liked by John Malin. That's about it. <laughs> Who put? That's kind of funny. Why would you hate it? I don't hate the fact that Spider Man went on um, Ninja Warrior. I like it. I like the fact that he's, you know, they have this fun little bit at the start of the um, issue. My problem with that and with um, with um, comic books in general is when they try and tackle real life things. Like in 2001 they had a lot of comic books that dealt with uh, the aftermath of 9-11. Um, and I don't know what I feel about that. Having one one issue that you know one and done with maybe a writer that felt like he needed to tell that story, but having a whole arc where it's kind of like Captain America dealing with why wasn't he there? You can't put a superhero in a situation where it's a real life situation. The little things like going on Ninja Warrior and having like a, a president show up, that I don't get. It dates uh, it dates the book, but I don't have a big problem with it. I feel like it's a bit offensive to put like to put Captain America in like nine eleven and ask to ask Captain America in the in the comic book landscape why weren't you there when it's a real life event and in real life we don't have Captain America, we don't have Thor so why are you putting these superhero characters in with these real life situations and the whole kind of the whole kind of conversation about Muslims in that first Spider-Man issue I kind of felt a bit awkward reading it I didn't really I feel like it's trying to be too on the nose especially since it was written around the time as there'd just been a terror attack in in France and in London 
and I felt a bit awkward reading about a terror attack in a comic book when there'd just been a terror attack like literally an hour away from where I live. Um, next comment is by Hamza Ahmed or Ahmed or whatever his name is. I'm not very good with names. Uh, who put here I am bro. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I do uh, Oh my god. He put here I am bro. Uh, indeed. Could put something um, noteworthy or relevant. But no. Uh, we then have someone called Mason Hayworth. No idea who this is. Definitely not someone I know in real life. Uh, I just put three like hand emojis. I don't know if you. Are you praying? Is that praying? Is that praying? Is that a praying emoji? I don't know. Uh, but it was at the guitar video. How not to play guitar? That a lot of people didn't seem to realise was a joke. It's a joke video. I I didn't mean any of the stuff that I said. If you take that video as a genuine like tutorial, you are thick. <laughs> You are genuinely thick. I have no sympathy for you at all. But yeah, uh, next comment is again by Wolf, uh, who put, "This is how cats sound after getting hit by a car. This is how cats sound after being hit by a car." And you need to learn more chords and to tune the guitar with a tuner. I just put totally agree. Yeah, because I don't agree. It was terrible. It was a, a, a terrible video. Um, I don't know why I posted it. I was just like, oh, I, I want to do a video today, but I don't know what to do it on. I've got a guitar in the back. Why don't I just, you know, act like a twat for several minutes? Um, apparently it worked. I don't know. I don't know how to judge whether videos work or not on this channel. It, uh, it might just be that it gets, you know, it gets a lot of views, but most of those people, it's like one person watching it over and over and over again. Uh, Juan Lugo put, "Hey dude, we just talked, and I was, and I was che here te checking your channel. Nice content, bro. I'm gonna subscribe. Thanks." Thanks, bro. New subscriber from a month ago. <laughs> yeah, got a new subscriber from a month ago. Uh, next, next comment is by MFA Gamer, who put, "Do some more videos. Keep it up." Smiley face. Uh, if you haven't been <laughs> checking out the channel, we've got like nearly, nearly two hundred videos on the channel we've got over 150 channel uh, videos on the channel that's more than Jontron and Jontron's over like 6 million of uh, 7 million probably no I think he's only at 4 million Fuck. I, uh, I need to check what uh, Jontron's um, subscriber count is at but yeah Definitely, if you want some more videos from the old Lukester, we've uh, we've got plenty. <laughs> got plenty. <laughs> Good videos. Fuck me. Uh, Aiden fifty seven put homicides. Homicides. Don't know the relevance of this. It was to these YouTubers don done goof. Don, these YouTubers done goofed. Uh, these YouTubers done goofed. Um, yeah, I don't know what homicides has to do with that, but fair enough. Uh, we got Reza thirteen MBG who put uh, keep it up, buddy, to the uh, Marvel Ultimate Graphic Novel Collection Iron Man Demon in a Bottle review. That is a mouthful. Uh, yeah, I will. I have been, and I will continue to do so. Uh, they have Gucci King Tay to my bad at love lyrics breakdown video 
uh, she put a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. This Gucci King Tay person really does not like adding constructive <laughs> comments. You know, it's just like, I, I guess, taking from that, that uh, enjoyed it, not much constructive criticism, I don't know. I can't really work off that. I can't, I can't joke about it. I can't, like, say thanks. I'll I'll do that in my next video, or I'll talk, I'll talk about that and then do the stuff. I can't really joke about that, you know. Uh, it's supposed to be a comedy show, and there's no comedy. When's the comedy on? Then we got Mason Hayworth who put this is golden. Indeed, indeed it is golden. It's a golden crispy chicken tender from KFC. Now I really want a KFC, for fuck's sake. Why, why did I reference KFC? What <laughs> it's going to do is make me hungry. Uh, yeah. That's all the comments that I have for today's uh, comedy show video. Uh, yeah. Um, not sure why I call these comedy shows. It's because everyone else calls them fucking uh, comic not fucking comment comment uh reading or you know and i was like i want to be original i want to be funny what's original funny comedy comedy and in doing so i have just diagnosed myself with comedy <laughs> in that way uh for those of you who don't who don't get that joke uh diagnosing yourself with comedy is basically oh you've got you've got special needs so I've I've basically done several videos where it's just Luke Warner's special needs show. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. The next the next several seconds are going to tell you what I want you to do and do it now. Bye.